finally. Yeah, people online were going pretty nuts about this. They were like, where is our new Blue Beetle trailer? The movie's coming out in like a month and a half. So let's get some marketing going. Now we finally have our official second trailer for Blue Beetle. And I'd say they more than made up for the wait. Cause this new trailer is pretty fat. It's like over three minutes long, which if I'm being honest, I feel like it does show a bit much. Like after watching the trailer, I feel like I watched most of the movie. Doesn't leave a whole lot left to the imagination. A bit unfortunate, but the upside is everything in this trailer looks great to me. This movie may very well be DC's best movie this year. Now, I'm not gonna cover the premise in this video because I covered that in my video on the first trailer. We know our characters, Jaime Reyes and his family, they live in Palmera City, but we get this new shot of Palmera City in this trailer and whoa, that looks pretty damn futuristic. Seriously, it looks like Blade Runner or Ghost in the Shell or something. Almost kind of cyberpunk-ish. But also, I noticed a couple of Easter eggs in this shot. If you look closely, we see Ace Chemicals on the far left. That's a Batman Easter egg because they're a Gotham company. And a little to the right, LexCo, which is Lex Luthor's company, Superman villain. And notice that it doesn't say Lex Corp, which is what Lex Luthor's company was in the DCEU. Now, this is different, which makes me think, yeah, this movie may very well be the first one officially in James Gunn's new DC Universe franchise. After the events of The Flash, the universe has been reset. I guess here is the proof. I mean, I do remember James Gunn coming out and saying that Blue Beetle is officially going to be the first new character in his DC Universe, but I'm really picky about semantics in particular. Does that mean that this movie is going to be the first movie in the DC Universe? franchise? Or just that Jaime Reyes is going to be the first hero in it? Those could mean two different things. I don't know, like I said, I'm picky like that. I need to know for certain. Anyway, moving on in the trailer, I noticed that the Scarab AI Kaji Da has a new voice. Or at least the voice has been modified somewhat since the first trailer. Post acquired. Who said that? Post acquired. Who said that? Systems checking. I actually like the fact that it sounds more robotic here. It sounds more like a computer program in Jaime's head. And I read somewhere that this voice is gonna be Becky G, is that right? AKA Trini from the Power Rangers movie? Honestly, wouldn't have been my first pick to voice an AI, not that I'm complaining. There are worse voices to have in one's head. Eddie Brock can attest to that. And Kashi Da has like some of the funniest moments in this trailer. Post overreacting. Overreacting? I feel like whatever banter back and forth that Jaime and Kashi Da might have, that could be a highlight of the movie. I don't know, we'll see. We get a little more of who looks like it's gonna be the main villain of this movie, Victoria Cord, played by Susan Sarandon. We are going to change the world with the power of the scarab. It belongs to me. I'm guessing she's the president or CEO or whatever of Cord Industries. And honestly, if there is anything in this trailer that looks like it could be the weaker part of the movie, it is the villains. Cause Victoria Cord pretty much just looks like your basic power hungry businesswoman villain, which is a trope that we have seen a million times. And then we get this other guy. I looked him up. This guy's apparently gonna be Indestructible Man. At least that's what he's called in the comics, I guess. And upon first glance at this suit, I was like, okay, yeah, he looks like a Power Rangers villain, which I guess would shed some light as to why Becky G is here. Cause if we got a Power Rangers villain, let's get a Power Ranger on this. Case solved. But yeah, in all honesty, I am not digging this look. Cause I was like, all right, when did we get a Power Rangers villain up in Blue Beetle here? Yeah, it looks generic. And I'm guessing this is gonna be, you know, the hired muscle that Victoria Cord hires to take care of Blue Beetle. Kind of like Razor Fist or whatever his name was in Shang-Chi. Same kind of deal, I'm guessing. But you know what? If that is the only bad thing that I noticed in this trailer, that is okay. Because visually speaking, I gotta tell you, the action in this movie looks awesome. I mean, we got Blue Beetle flying around in his awesome looking suit. He's using all kinds of weapons, firing energy blasts. CG wise, it actually looks really good. Like even surprisingly so after the flash. I'm just saying, it's almost like it's like, oh, this is where DC's visual effects budget went. It all went to this movie and like none of it went to the flash. Makes me wonder how Aquaman 2 is gonna look. But yeah, if for nothing else, like if the movie sucks, God forbid, at least the action scenes should be really fun to watch. There is one shot in this trailer that made me go, oh, okay, good. And it's a shot where we see that the scarab is in fact fused to Jaime Reyes' spine. Uh, oh, I forgot how bad it looks. Damn, that looks pretty gnarly. I was wondering about that though. If you remember my video on the first trailer, I mentioned that in the lore that I know anyway, the scarab is fused to his spine. They didn't really show that it was in the first trailer. Now we do see it, so cool. I really don't know if I would want to go through that, even if I end up with awesome superpowers like Jaime Reyes does. I mean, I guess I imagine I would get used to it, but still, it just looks really gross. Ugh, poor dude. And then the trailer ends with more awesome action, and we get the title, but I love the stinger. Cause we get to see Grandma Abuela con the Gatling gun. That is hilarious. I want to see that on the big screen. I want to see her just going to town shredding dudes like Arnold style and shit. Give me that and I'll be happy. 
So yeah, in the end, Blue Beetle still looks great to me. And it is because of that fact that I really hope this movie does well in the box office. Because if The Flash taught us anything, it's that brand and IP alone does not a box office success make. At least not when your main actor has a lot of problems. This movie though, we got Sholo Marty Duenya from Cobra Kai. And like no one in this cast or crew has been canceled as far as I know. It looks good. It's got the DC brand behind it. I really hope it does well. And I personally can't wait to go see it when it comes out on August 18th. Bring on the Blue Beetle, baby. So, Blue Beetle Official Trailer 2. Have you watched it yet? What are your thoughts on it? And how well do you think this movie's gonna perform in the box office? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. Now if you'll excuse me, dude, have you watched that new episode of Secret Invasion yet? Holy smokes, that's gonna be my next video, so stay tuned for that. Peace!